When are we going to receive the $1,400 stimulus check? I don't know about all you, but I'm getting a little bit impatient and tired of waiting. So in this video, we're going to put together all of the evidence that we have and put together a timeline for when we could potentially see this stimulus package passed and the $1,400 stimulus checks hitting our accounts. So let's get right into it. But hey, if you're new here, welcome and make sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. So really quickly, if you didn't catch my video from a couple days ago talking about the $200 per month raise for Social Security, SSI, and VA beneficiaries, first things first, finish watching this video and then go back and watch that video. I actually have a pretty good message in there for President Biden. Not only that, if you are interested, this is not required, but if you're interested, what I did with that video, and actually I noticed a few of you down in the comments on that video did the same thing. Thank you so much for doing that. And that is, I grabbed the link from that video. I went over to Twitter <laughs> and I tagged all of those people uh, on Twitter with that video in hopes that we can uh, send that link out to those people and maybe they'll actually watch the video because like my message in the video, hey, we need answers on this $200 raise for all of these beneficiaries. Basically, my message in that video was, hey, we're forgetting the biggest segment of our population. Basically, everybody right now is getting some type of financial support or some type of assistance during this time. However, the biggest segment of our population, the elderly, the disabled, and the low income are getting literally nothing, which is basically my message in that video. So like I said, finish watching this one, but go back from a few days ago, check out that video, the $200 per month raise for social security, SSI and VA beneficiaries. It's a pretty good video. There's a nice message in there. And if you want, feel free to tag all those people. Uh, the people that I tagged is the POTUS, president of the United States, Nancy Pelosi, Chuck Schumer, Elizabeth Warren, Ron Wyden, the vice president. I tagged all of these people um, on Twitter. So maybe they'll actually watch the video and give us some answers on the $200 raise. Anyway, sorry about that. I wanted to say that because I know a lot of you have been asking and hey, I have that video and let's get some answers out of these people. All right, let's talk about the 1400 bucks. We want to know. We're getting a little impatient, right? We're getting antsy. We got ants in our pants. We need <laughs> some answers. I don't know where that came from. Sorry, I didn't. That was not in the plan to say that. <laughs> All right. So what about the $1,400 stimulus check, right? We're getting incredibly impatient. This thing was supposed to be sent out a month ago, right? It was supposed to be sent out right away, right after the inauguration, 1400 bucks hitting our bank accounts. But here we are in mid-February and still nothing, right? So where do we stand? Well, first things first, let's go in chronological order with the information that we have as of now. Where is Congress this week? Well, let me give you a little guess. I'll let you guess where Congress is this week. I'll give you a hint. It starts with either R or V, depending on the word that you choose. Yep, you guessed it. They are on vacation, otherwise known as recess, if you want to use the words that they use. But no, it's actually a vacation. Yes, Congress is on vacation this week. However, maybe we should reach out to all these people and say, hey, guess what? <laughs> Rent doesn't take a vacation. Utility bills don't take a vacation. Hey guys, guess what? Putting food on the table definitely does not take a vacation more than a day or two. You definitely don't want to take a vacation from putting food on the table for more than a day or two. Yeah, that wouldn't be a good thing. But anyway, yeah, Congress feels like, hey guys, um, we've been working so hard lately. We need to go on vacation for a week. So that's what they're doing this week. They're, um, you know, who knows what they're doing? Obviously, probably not much, but that's what they're doing. Congress is on vacation this week. So next week, when Congress will return, which by the way, side note, We'll probably get a lot of information this week about the stimulus, stimulus package, stimulus checks, simply because typically when Congress is on vacation, there's still a lot of interviews. There's a lot of tweeting going on. There's a lot of other commentary out of these people while they are still on vacation. So even though they're not technically in the chamber working on things that they should be working on, there will still be a lot of communication regarding the stimulus. So there's probably gonna be a lot more information coming out this week. All right, 
So next week. What can we expect next week? Well, Nancy Pelosi is very optimistic saying next week, when they're back in session, that she thinks that they that they will bring this bill to the floor, the stimulus package to the floor, and they will pass it in the House, then passing it on to the Senate after that for some voting. Well, we know that uh, in the Senate, there's going to be a little bit of a, you know, a voting that we need all the Democrats to come on board with this thing because we're anticipating they're going to push this thing through with the budget reconciliation. So that would require all 50 Democrats in the Senate to vote on this and actually pass it. Well, vote on it and support it. And then we would likely get the tie breaking vote from the vice president. So Nancy Pelosi thinks that all of that's going to be happening next week. We are very hopeful that they will actually do the same, which then maybe possibly, depending on when this goes through next week in the House, it would go to the Senate. Well, is it going to be late next week when the Senate gets it, or is it going to be the week after, which would actually be the first week of March? Well, at that point, we can expect the Senate to get it, and then they will go through their process of voting, possibly negotiating. There could be some back and forth in the Senate as well as the House. Okay, so that puts us in early March. Let's just call it the early first week of March, possibly the second week of March. Well, everybody's been saying that they want this thing passed before the expiration of unemployment benefits on March 14th. Well, that would be the first two weeks of March. They need to have it passed by then. Otherwise, those unemployment benefits for all of those tens of millions, well, what is it, 10 plus million Americans receiving unemployment uh, benefits right now would be expiring on March 14th if they don't otherwise extend them. So that's the deadline that many people have been saying. However, some sources are saying, well, based on what it's looking like, this thing could be passed by the end of March and then stimulus checks could be distributed possibly the last week of March and possibly the first week of April. Well, that's certainly not what we want to hear, right? That's a month and a half from now. That's way too long. That is not what we are looking for. So what we do know is that next week, there's going to be some voting on this thing. Hopefully the Senate will get it right away and they can vote on this thing. And without hiccups, they can push this thing through and get it voted and passed and over to the president for a signature. At that point, all of the information, once it's signed into law, all of the information goes to the IRS where they will start processing the stimulus checks. As we know from the first stimulus package, it took about two weeks to distribute them. Stimulus package number two, they were actually distributing pay, uh, check, stimulus checks within about 48 hours after the stimulus bill was signed into law. That was actually very, very fast. So if they can keep up that pace, we would anticipate that possibly like the third week, the fourth week of March is possibly when stimulus checks could start flowing at that point in a very ideal situation. However, things can obviously change. We could see for some reason uh, an expedited bill. They could push this thing through a little bit sooner than anticipated, which would obviously push checks up sooner, maybe you know mid-March. We don't really know. We obviously don't have an exact date. We're just going off of the information that we have as of now based on wh what we know is happening in Congress, what people are saying, and how long it takes them to process all of this stuff between the House the Senate, and then getting over to the president for a signature. And eventually, once it's signed into law, then eventually getting all of this money distributed. Get what I'm saying? There's a lot of different steps here. So that's kind of what we're looking at as of right now. Now, obviously, I know a lot of you are thinking, well, we were supposed to see this weeks ago. No, I get it. I agree with you. We were supposed to see this money almost a month ago already, right? It was supposed to be out the door immediately. Well, two months after the inauguration is not immediately in, well, in my opinion, it's not immediately. Immediately means immediately, right? <laughs> anyway, so that's what we know as of that. For those of you who are still waiting for your stimulus checks, if you uh, if you filed a tax return with the IRS, check the, the, the tool to track your, uh, your uh, tax return, your tax refund. I produced a video and released that just a couple days ago talking about how you can track your stimulus refund. There's a video out there just a couple days ago here on the channel. Watch that video. I gave you exact information and step-by-step -step how you can track your stimulus check and your tax refund on the IRS website. You wanna make sure you keep an eye on that 
because you can track your progress of your tax return and the distribution of your payments. For those of you who had to file a tax return in order to claim your $600 stimulus check for yourself, maybe the $1,200 for yourself and your dependent, maybe both because you were claimed as an adult dependent in 2020, you can track all the money right there using that tool that I talked about in that video just a couple days ago titled something like track your stimulus check or track your stimulus refund. It's something like that. It's from about three or four, four something days ago, something like that. Check out that video. Either way, that's about what we know as for the timeline right now regarding the $1,400 stimulus checks. I hope that helps you out. But hey, congratulations to the people who get shout outs today. And those are going to a friend called Five. Congratulations. And Shell Shell Brown. Congratulations to both of you for the daily shout outs. I really do appreciate it. Thank you to all of you for watching this video. I really appreciate your continued support. If you haven't done so, make sure to hit that subscribe button right down below the video. And I will likely be back later today with another video to do anything I can to help you and maintain my commitment here on the channel to help you through this time. Thanks everybody. Stay safe out there and I'll catch you later. By the way, Corey says hi and congratulations to the shout out winners. I'll have more later. Thanks everybody. I'll see you soon.